My parents are dead, my grandparents are dead, and I had a piece of them, <laughs> and it's gone. New at 11, two couples heartbroken. They're missing a lifetime of valuables, many of them family heirlooms. Good evening, I'm Anthony Pura, in for Vanessa Van Hefty. 10 News reporter Michael Chen joins us, and Michael, both of these homes hit at a very vulnerable time. Yeah, very vulnerable. They were vulnerable, vulnerable because both of the break-ins happened while the homes were being fumigated, and once inside, the thieves went on a shopping spree. They cleaned this whole site out. They went through here. They went through all the drawers. The mess Denise Duffy and her husband walked into. I just felt very sick. Now stabbed in her mind. Pretty upset. And heart. Just off 54th Street in Oak Park, after several days of termite treatment, Duffy and her husband met the fumigation crew Wednesday morning so they could get back in their house. Turns out somebody else had been inside, an intruder who first sliced the tent. It looks like the entry point was right here. The thief slicing open the screen before forcing the window open, which had been cracked open a bit. The thief would ransack the entire house, stealing electronics and dozens of pieces of jewelry, most of them family heirlooms. My parents are dead, my grandparents are dead, and I had a piece of them, <laughs> and it's gone. Among the heirlooms, a gold necklace she wore at her wedding nearly 40 years ago, given to her by her grandfather, also gone. It's pretty tough on you. Her husband's gold wedding band. Brings back memories. You know, and it's stuff that you hope to have for your kids. The Duffies aren't alone. Last week in El Cajon, a burglary with a similar M.O. A home two days into a fumigation broken into after the tent is sliced open overnight. A senior couple losing jewelry, coins, and other valuables collected during their lifetimes. The pain of that loss shared by the Duffies. I can't replace any of it. My mother's wedding rings, my dad's ruby ring, I can't... Uh... I can't replace any of it. Now, her husband's wedding band was engraved with their wedding date, 11 28 80, and the words, Love Never Fails. It is unknown right now if there is a link between the two crimes. Michael Chen, 10 News. Michael, thank you.